Hey everyone, Tiffany Dawson here, your Pamper Chef Consultant. I wanted to come on and share one of my favorite recipes to make in the five and a half inch mini cast iron skillets, which is garlic and herb biscuits. So, many of you may already know that Pillsbury has these mini tubes of green biscuits. So there's five of the full size biscuits in there, which perfectly fits into both of the mini cast iron skillets when you cut them into quarters. So, for starters, we are going to prime the kitchen spritzer um, and add just a little bit of oil into that mini cast iron skillet. So we'll get that nicely oiled to help work towards its seasoning. Um, and then you can see here that I've already quartered the biscuits. So, like I said, the five biscuits when fit in quarters fit perfectly into both of these. So we are going to put half, so two and a half of the biscuits in here and just kind of round them up a little bit so they're a nice bite size shape to fit into this skillet. Um, and we'll be seasoning them with garlic and herb like I had mentioned. Um, you can also if you want to use fresh garlic, you can press the garlic, um, use your seasoning, brush it with butter, so many options to make these biscuits. Or if you want them to stay in that nice home style buttermilk flavor, um, just spray them with a little bit of oil, brush them with butter, and leave them as is. Um, no need for seasoning if you don't want to season. But my favorite is using either freshly pressed garlic or garlic powder and then the Herbes de Provence seasoning. Italian herb is also a great addition. So we are going to spritz them with a little bit of oil right on top as well. And then we will add in the seasonings. So a little bit of garlic powder on there. And like I said, I really like having the Herbes de Provence on there. Um, I have done it with the Rosemary Herb. That is also a great combination with the garlic. And then we are going to cook them in the Deluxe Air Fryer. So, I'm not going to officially start it yet because I want to make the second tray, which is why both of the trays are in there. But once we're ready to start it then, you just go to the roast setting. Um, so it's already set for 375 and uh, 10 minutes is the perfect time. So it's all ready to go and then you just push the button to start it and we're good to go. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If not, um, I highly recommend you give this a try and I'd love to hear your feedback when you do. Have a great day.